Well, just was, game week for you, huh? Absolutely. Always a time to, uh, to kind of – I know we talk to everybody and they talk about the excitement for Saturday. It's, it's, it's really exciting. I tell them it's, it's almost like Christmas. You know, you, you get to open up your presents and see what it's going to turn out. I just hope my bike doesn't have a flat tire. You know, I want it to be able to ride it and use it and have fun on it. And you know, these guys are the same way. I mean, you know, they've been hitting each other for over a month. And uh, they're looking forward to uh, – you know, just going out there and playing the game. And I, I'm excited about finding out what type of team we have and the identity that it's going to have. So it'll be fun. All right, tell us how Trevante got that starting job in your usual fun way. <laughs> well, what did he do? What, what, what sold he made deal? plays. Players make plays. Sports center and lots of money. That's what I tell them. And, you know, the, the kid really pushed himself coming back from injury. And, and I started him at the very bottom. You know, I was going to test him and see if he was going to, you know, either step up or, or shut down. And, and he really did. He stepped up. He made play in every scrimmage. And the other thing that he did was he was able to line other guys up and he was able to play more than just one spot. So you'll see him in the middle of play flop and go to another spot just because, you know, he's smart enough to do that. Trevor, you, you talked talk about D'Angelo. You said mm -hmm. one of the things that kept him playing last year was he was behind, behind Darvin and mm -hmm. I was behind Emory. So is, is Kind of what will his role be? Will he play a lot? Or yeah, he will. It, and, and the reason why is because that position, that's, that's where a lot of the balls go. So you want to get it to the best two that you got. And uh, you nobody's going to play eight snaps. But the good thing about both of those guys is you'll look up and both of them will be on the field at the same time. And uh, that, that's that's going to be good for us because now you can't match up and say, I'm going to take this one out and do that. So uh, I, I've been proud of him. You know, First of all, he stayed healthy so far. <laughs> I know it's still early. But uh, he's been healthy, and uh, you know the, the kid hadn't missed the practice at all. You know um, that, that that's been good to see. And, you know, and he's had several things through camp. I mean, at the beginning of camp he had pink eye, and I don't know if you ever had it, but you definitely don't want to practice football. He didn't miss a single snap, and uh, that let me know that you know his toughness is there, and then the want to, um, and he's answering questions like a quarterback now, where before he only knew what he had. But now he's answering questions across the board, you know, on plays that we're going to run and when we're going to run them. So it just gives you that confidence as a coach and, and obviously as a play caller for, uh, to get him the ball and to give him an opportunity. You mentioned seven guys last time you were in here. Mm -hmm. and I think Quan was also on the depth chart of receivers. Mm -hmm. Has he done anything to kind of get in that circle of trust that you have? Him? Yeah, he's getting close. I mean, again, the, the playing time for him, it, it'll his his – job will be a lot smaller until he proves to us that he can handle more and more and more. But, uh, you know, it, it's like anything else. He, he better prove himself on special teams. He, he better prove himself when he does get his number called that he can make those type of plays and do the things that we need him to do. Um, and, and I think he will. You know, uh, the kid works really hard. You know, he's so competitive that he gets down on himself and you have to bring him back. And, that's, that's going to be his winner. You, you can't let one play beat you twice. And uh, once he figures that out, and, and some people's like to take a little longer. But I, I tell you, hopefully by midway through this season, uh, he'll be a guy that you can't keep off the field because he, you know, you, you want to put a guy that's going to make plays in space. And he brings that type of ability to the table. He's, he's talking about Trevon and Quan and mm -hmm. what they've done as part of to be on the depth chart for they, They've really both done a great job. Uh, just decision making. Uh, you know, it's been a natural transition for both of them. Um, uh, you know, we're going to face guys that are rugby punters. We're going to face guys that are deep punters and that. But just finding a way to get a first down. You know, and, and we talk about hitting yardage all the time. Percentages, of, depending on where you start on the field, increase or decrease based off the line of scrimmage. Uh, so we want those guys to understand. Any mistake back there can be magnified. You miss a ball and it rolls 15 yards. Now that puts our offense in a bad position. You know, now the percentage of scoring are a lot lower than what it was if you didn't make one first down. So that's what we're going to try to do with those two guys. Uh, you don't be surprised if you see them both back there at the same time. I mean, they're that dynamic, and um, we're, we're hoping that that's going to be a plus for us. Uh, Lord knows if it's not, I'll be on the other side of that camera because Coach Chizik is pretty hot about that spot. I'm sure you don't. Don't bring that up anyway. Don't tell them. Don't talk about that. <laughs>